Uh, next thing I want to do is I'm going to add uh, audio, and I have an audio clip that I've already imported. And so what I do is I drag it down here to the timeline where it says soundtrack. Now, I've made this artificially big because I've played with it before. Normally, it would just look like something like this, say normal size. And also, this little button may not be twirled, but I'm going to twirl it to make it bigger. And I'm going to purposely make this track bigger by putting my cursor here and I can drag up because I want to look at it more carefully. Because one of the things is I know the sound is way too loud and it's going to cover up my voice. So when I try and listen, hello, um, I'm Richard Hall and I'm a professor of Missouri. So you can see you can't hear me because the soundtrack is too loud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to make it fade and go get smaller, <clears throat> get quieter. And so what I do is I go a little bit before when I start talking and I'm going to make what's called a keyframe. And a keyframe means something starts happening. So with the audio clip selected, I'm going to click this little button that means that uh, keyframe. So I just clicked it and you can see there's a little dot in the timeline. And now I'm going to go up to the point where I start talking. In fact, now I think about it, since I don't start talking at first, I'm going to move the keyframe a little bit so I can drag it right along the line. I want it to be at zero. Alright, so now I move it to where I start talking and I put another keyframe. And this one I want to make much less. And so it's I'm going to move it to where it's about minus 13, 14 decibels. Then I'm going to come up to when I'm done talking here at the end. And I'm going to make another keyframe. And then I'm going to make it go up again to zero. So I can make another keyframe, etc. So at each of these places, when I'm not talking, I'm going to move it back up to zero and then move it back down when I start talking again. So then it creates this kind of nice effect, and I'll, I'll show you. And it's one of my pet peeves. I hate like when a movie ends and the sound just ends abruptly and doesn't fade out. And I'll say that on your assignments if you do that. But here's just an example of the fading out so they can hear me talk. Hello, um, I'm Richard Hall and I'm a professor at Missouri S&T. Uh, and then I put on the end here, media. And also, then I'll have it go down again. So you get the idea. So that's how you ha add audio. And that's one way that you can change the volume within the audio in the same track.